Review copy provided by PlayStation. Developed by Pixel Opus, the studio behind Entwine, Concrete Genie is about a boy bringing life back to an abandoned town with the help of his magic paintbrush and the lovable genies he creates along the way. Though it can feel overly simple at times, Concrete Genie is filled with charm. The plot revolves around a bullied teen named Ash, who escapes his troubles by drawing in his sketchbook and exploring Denska's old hometown. After being harassed by some local kids, Ash finds himself in a mysterious lighthouse. Here, one of the drawings from his notebook, Luna, comes to life and guides him to a paintbrush with the power of living paint, which can cleanse the darkness spread throughout Denska. Then, with brush in hand, Ash sets out to reclaim his beloved hometown. It's a simple story about courage, forgiveness, and bonds. The connection Ash shares with his genies is meaningful, and the game thankfully gives some much-needed development to the bullies, making them more than just mindless enemies. The majority of the game revolves around running through various city districts and ridding them of the mysterious darkness. The main way you go about this is by painting on designated walls throughout the town. Instead of having direct control of what you draw, you use pre-established works from Ash's sketchbook. These designs work more like stickers, where you simply place them on the wall rather than actually drawing them freehand. There's a decent amount of designs to work with, like various trees, flowers, and mountains, and there are even a few weather effects to play with, like rain and snow. Even though you're working with pre-made designs, there's still some flexibility as you can move, bend, and expand them. At first, it may seem strange that you can't draw any creations of your own, but painting is still enjoyable and ends up working well since the game is more about being able to quickly and easily move from canvas to canvas rather than spending long periods of time doodling. Ash can also draw monster-like creatures called genies. Besides serving as charming and lovable companions, genies have special abilities to help you along the way. There are three different colored genies, each offering a unique ability. Red can use fire to burn objects, yellow can harness electricity to power old equipment, and blue can use wind to move large objects like boxes. The genies themselves are great, and working with them the first few times is a pleasure. However, the tasks and puzzles that revolve around them are very basic, and never progress into anything more interesting, ultimately feeling underdeveloped. There's also the enhanced Super Paint, which is used to cleanse walls littered with darkness. It comes in limited supply, and to refill it, you need to draw things your genies request. It's a nice idea that emphasizes the power of the darkness, but it ends up feeling like a minor annoyance when you need to go back to refill it. Despite Denska being abandoned, Ash isn't the only one roaming its streets. Throughout the majority of the game, a group of bullies keeps on your tail, but despite their constant presence, they never feel like a threat since they're so easy to avoid. The penalty for being caught is very minor as well. You're simply thrown into a dumpster and forced to retrieve your brush. The other kids just feel like a minor nuisance rather than something to watch out for. However, while the majority of the game is about painting, near the end it takes an unexpected turn and introduces combat. There are only a few fights overall, but it essentially breaks down into chasing a foe and attacking them with your brush. The combat itself is decent, but it ends up feeling tacked on since it comes so late in the game, only to last around 30 minutes. Along the way, there are some side activities like painting on billboards or finding newspaper articles that contain additional info on the town. There are also missing pages from Ash's sketchbook scattered about that contain new designs for you to play with, like new genie variations. Outside of the main story, there's a free paint mode where you can explore all the locations and create to your heart's content. There's also a separate VR mode called Splotch in the Crystal Canvas, which requires two move controllers. It starts by simply drawing Ash's designs in 2D, which isn't very exciting, but luckily things get more interesting when it shifts to letting you play around in a 3D space. That was weird. Even though some concepts never really feel fleshed out, Concrete Genie's imaginative design is compelling. It's often way too straightforward, and elements like the combat feel like afterthoughts. However, covering Denska's walls with vibrant illustrations brings a wonderful sense of satisfaction. And watching your genies come to life is a delight. Easy Allies reviews are made possible by generous viewers just like you. If you like what you see, check out patreon.com slash easyallies to help us make more. For just $1 a month, you can gain access to weekly updates, spoiler discussions, and exclusive shows.
review copy provided by PlayStation.